Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Salted Caramel Porter from Pigeon Hill is the one for you. Welcome back. So we are going to try uh, Salted Caramel Porter, which we had at the... We're going to officially taste it for you guys, but we've had it. Beer festival. Yeah. And I that was the first time we had it, right? I think it's been out about a month. I don't know. You got awful stingy. <laughs> Obviously, you know what's coming up here. Just saying. Uh, this is... Does it have anything? Brad was no. a good husband today, and he went and bought six. Yep. For me. And I believe Aaron tried one, and Matt is going to try one. I'm going to take oh, one yeah? to Matt. Yeah, I'm gonna, you can share one with a friend. I'm going to share <laughs> one with a friend. Um, but I follow Pigeon Hill on Instagram. Yeah. And um, obviously, big old fans of OCP. <laughs> so this, I was very eager to try, and I don't care for porters. So right. when I tried it at the Kalamazoo Beer Fest, I was pleasantly surprised. And uh, so here we are. We're going to yep. try it. 6% ABV, 20 IBUs. And before we start, we have a BOGO going on. Yeah. So buy one, get one free on shirts. So if you go to... It might look like this on you or yep. it might look like that on you. <laughs> so if you go to 31stbrewing.com backslash uh, store. Okay. And after when you order one, there will be a comment box. If you put in what size you want your second shirt... I will mail that out. Uh, Squarespace can't do BOGOs, so that's how I have but to But we do can. It. Yep. Break the rules. So. These are great stocking stuffers. Yep. Yep. For the holidays. And this will go on until after Thanksgiving. Okay. So, Did your thing say till Thanksgiving, though? You need to maybe yeah. reword that. But um, they're very comfortable. Actually, it'd be interesting to have the people that have them. Right. Because they tell us they're comfortable, but. Right. They're thin, soft. But what I'm trying to do is get rid of all the inventory that I have, then I will make a new shirt. So once this shirt's gone, a new shirt will come in. <laughs> so please, I'll give you a little gift. I'm the one that ships them. <laughs> Why don't you buy one? See where it ends up. You'll probably get 10. Maybe I'll just put something special in there yeah. as a thank you. So let's get back to this. Yeah, let's get back to what we're here so for. So if we look at the color, I would say a cola color. Yep, caramel. Amber. I caramel hints. Yeah. Oh. In there. Okay. Smell. I smell caramel. Caramel, a little bit of toffee, and wa like a watery... Yeah, I smell caramel or toffee. Yeah. I, um, I actually smell a little bit. I don't. I, I smell like some salt. Oh, I like, don't. I don't know. Mm. I don't. Just a and bit. the only reason I say that is because we Whoa. had. What, you, <laughs> what are you doing? I smelled, but I accidentally tasted. <laughs> um, like the sea quench. Yeah. Like how you could yeah. smell. smell salt, the sea yeah, salt. Yeah, I don't, I don't smell that. Because there's not sea salt in it. Well, the, okay. Do you want to taste now or are you yeah, let's taste done it. drinking? <laughs> I like this. I'm going to try to not say that too many times, but it's very good. I really think that Pigeon Hill has knocked it out of the park with... The d dessert, dessert beer, sweet, the sweet, they've nailed the sweet beer with it not being overpowering and overly artificial tasting. Overly artificial tasting. You know, the oatmeal cream pie, I didn't think it tasted like artificial sweetness for right. the cream filling. Um, this does not taste... Overly sickeningly sweet caramel. Yeah, it, it is a low tone. Yeah. And I, I like think porters. it's the salt. It could be. This is a good mix together. It's like, I, I do get some caramel, <clears throat> but like in the back, it's like, I want to say like tinny. I, and I don't know if that's the salt. 
Oh, really? For me. But I like the caramel taste. I had this a couple few times. Maybe almost all my tokens. Yeah. It's just what I do. I go to a beer festival and I find a couple that I like and then I use all my tokens because I walk around and I find something I don't like and then I go back to the same tent and then I go all around, try some of And Pigeon Hill, you know what I haven't had from there that I really like to try is not your, your mom on French toast. Oh, yeah? Right? Your mom mm-hmm. on French toast. That's what they tapped at um, the beer festival in February that we went to outside and that it sold out. Did we out. have it? Oh. No, it oh, was yeah, like, we didn't bam. Go. We didn't, we we didn't went, go to that line. That we line went right crazy. past it and I was like, ah, nah, they'll, they'll be okay. That yeah, Brad's like, we'll yeah. come back to There's it. like 500 people. Again, there. why do we listen to Brad? Let's stand in line and freeze. Um, so we'll have to go there first when we go back to it in February. Um, but I, I cannot say enough good things about Pigeon Hill. I want to go here. I want to see what their right. space is like, and I want to drink it out of the draft. So if you're going to the beer festival in February, let us know. Let him know. I <clears throat> let Brad know. He can meet up with you. I'm going to be in the Pigeon Hill line. <laughs> or the shorts. I'm going to be buying short sweatshirts. Or in the odd side, Ale's getting realignment. Anyway, enough about that stuff. <clears throat> so many things to look forward to, but this is so really good. What like would you give this out of five? Four point two five. Four point two five because it's not oatmeal cream pie. I would go with a four. I, okay. I do like the caramel, maybe the saltiness. Did you even have it? Did you taste it at the yeah. best? Like taste yep. it out of my taster? Yep. Okay. I think so you didn't drink it then. for a six percent beer, I think it's too watery. And I'm burping. I, I th- guess I can't I, be the judge of that. I'm I not think it's almost like a brown. I know that doesn't seem right, but to well, me, a... the color and the taste, it's so light. Okay. What is a porter supposed to taste like? Kind of caramel, toffee, kind of roasted malts. Okay, because... You know, it's like a step down from a, a stout. Because the porter, that New England, that honey balsamic ball... But, yeah. That Baltic. was that was all right. That was good. And that's a porter, right? Yeah. Maybe I'm step. Look at me. I'm like, <laughs> maybe I like an IPA every once in a while, and then yeah, maybe I like some stouts. But maybe I like some porters. This one's I, good though. Yeah, I think this is a little too watery for six okay. percent, and maybe it's if they really use salted caramel in the boil. That the ABV is upped from that, and then the yeast is eating it. So that's bringing the ABV up. <clears throat> but, yeah, I, I think it's it's too light. That's okay, though. But, I don't yeah, need a heavy, thick, four. sweet, overly sweet, artificially flavored beer. I think it's just fine. What do people say about this? That's what I want to know. A little over 1,000 ratings okay. for an average of 3.95. Okay. Two of my friends have rated it for an average of 3.63. So I love it. Right. At the beer festival, I gave it a four. Oh, you rated it then? Yep. Oh. So I gave it a four and gave it a four now without okay. looking at it. I don't okay. know. Tyler gave it a 3.5. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, It's I can't. definitely one to try, mm. but I think if you're going to try this, you should have OCP with you. Yeah, like and try them because that's also a porter, right? I don't know. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's also a par- porter. I don't know. That's an oatmeal porter. It's oatmeal cream it's pie. A stout. I don't look it up. I don't know. It's good though. Yeah. And I can't. I don't know. I am just like love the pigeon hill. <laughs> I'm fans. I'm becoming like. It's almost like shorts. Like anything they do. Yeah, I'm a try. fan of. I gotta try it, and uh, this one very very good. Cool. This is just, but this is gonna be just like a fall winter beer because it's a salty sure. caramel porter. You think? I have no clue. Oh, all right. Don't well, know. it was good, and I have four left, <laughs> and I'll probably share them with my friends. Yep. And see what they think because I like to share my beer with my friends. Yep. And uh, let us know if you've had it because I want to know if you guys think it's good yep. because I think it's good. Cool. Okay. Yep. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.
Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.